Okay, let's play more English. Let's play the Brexit Gambit. Let's fight for our independence. Let's go. Actually, he's not gonna let me. So now I'll play the uh, I'll play the Mechanics attack. Let's go e5 and f4 here. I'll go knight f3. I'm gonna take and go here. He wasted tempos. He played one two, so he lost time. So based on the fact that he like for example, he could have gone here in one move, but instead he does this. Instead he does this and then this. He could have done it in one. Instead he takes two turns. Oh, no problem, no problem. Hey, it happens, don't worry. Again, as, as the saying goes, like, you know, Jack Ma, for example, he, uh, I think he he was, he was went for job interviews with like 30 different companies, got turned down at every single one, including McDonald's, and then he went on to found Alibaba and become the richest man, one of the richest men in the world. So it's all relative. Thank you for the queen. Let's just play uh, the Dutch Dutch opening here. Let's go knight, knight, knight f6 and d6 and knight d7. I guess I'm going to castle here. Uh, let's play knight d6. Chat, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Let's go king h8, maybe knight h5, maybe e5. I'm gonna play knight h5 and e5 next move. Let's go e5, kick the bishop. Oh, does this guy have a, is that levy? Does he have levy's flare? I just realized. Okay, bishop h2, just h6 next move and hit the knight. I'm not gonna talk about politics, you guys. I was giving you an example, okay? I mean, we don't need to get weird here. Let's play h6, knight h3, maybe e4, maybe just takes. Actually, let's take and go e4 anyway. This is pretty good. Let's just take and go queen f6 maybe. Or queen e8 here. I can play bishop f5 here maybe. I can also just take the... I'm going to take because when he takes, I just go here. And he's got triplets on the file, but he also has no way to win because I just block. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to touch touch that topic, you guys. Let's go rook t8. Thing to star the one for the prime thing, a matter move for the prime thing, no cons for two, and Defonics for the nine months thing. So much. Just going to here and here. Now I take, and I see, he, maybe he's got queen h4. I think I just hit the rook and he can't move because I take. How long have I been in LA? Uh, I mean, not not that long. I mean, when I was really young, I, I, I spent the first couple of years of my life on the Mojave Desert. Um, so about like, it was about like, you know, two and a half hours away from LA um, north in this this town called Sagecrest. Um, so, so I spent the first couple of years of my life there. Um, I, I'm pretty familiar with LA. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in LA over the years. Let's go check and then mate. I'm kidding, of course. It's it's called Ridgecrest, but uh, it is pretty sad. It's a very small town um, in the middle of the desert. Let's go Bishop G4, maybe E6 and takes. Um, I wonder how long until people from there actually get mad at me for saying that. Because I know there are people who from there who have watched my stream before. And I wonder how long until they get mad at me for basically calling it that. Yeah, the population is like 30k. It's, it's pretty small for, for California. Why was I in Ridgecrest? Is, is that's a military town? Because uh, my mother's uh, my mother's father, my, my, my grandfather, um, he... Uh, there's no American opening or defense. No, come on. Because chess is a game from the old days. It's from, you know, a very classic period in time when people, when countries were fine, there's a lot of elegance and classical, classical vibes, um, you know, like a romantic period, these sorts of things, you know, America didn't really exist back then. So no, of course there's not, America was just, you know, was not, not even, not even close to being a country yet. So no, of course there's no American opening. Chess is a game from like a period when there was a lot of class. Chess, chess is a game, you know, of elegance, of class. Just take it, take the pawn on D4. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. I take Z4 here. Too far, yeah. Too far, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, I, I thought that I thought he went G4. Actually, out of the corner of my eye when I was looking at chat, I didn't realize he went Bishop G4. Let's keep going. Players are resigning really fast here. I don't know why, but let's keep going. Let's play the Alakine's defense again. Let's see, how close are we to 80? We're actually getting pretty close, I think. Let's just go back. What are we at? We are at, um... Oh, we're actually at 80. We're at 80 right now. So, you know what? Let's assume we're going to win 10 more. Let's chalk it up 10 more. Let's make it 90. Actually, you know what? We're going to win the next 20. Why not? Let's just make it 100. And then, then we'll uh, then we'll get, get move on to other stuff. Let's go to 96. So, 20 more. Let's go D6 and just takes. This is one of 20. Let's take with a pawn. Let's just go here, maybe castle, maybe g6 or f5. Got to be careful that he doesn't cheese me with some queen h5 here. He does try to cheese me as I expected, but I have f5 here. TSM headquarters open? No, I doubt it'll be open until after, um, probably until after, uh, after there's vaccines out for everyone, I'm guessing, but I don't know. Let's go e5, bishop f6 next move. I like my position here. Probably e4, maybe f4. I like my position. It's pretty good. Um, I really, I think I just sidestep because now there's no pin. So was, I'm threatening to just eat the juicer. And when he goes back, I actually fork the queen and the bishop. And he can't go here because I have two things. And I have a pawn holding. So it's GG's basically. Yeah, now I fork the queen. f4, fork the queen and the bishop. Um, oops. Thank you to Daryl, uh, Daryl Todd for the prime thing to come to fire for the seven months. Let's keep going. Let's play E4. Let's go here. 19 to go. Let's keep rolling. Let's play D4. This is the Philidor defense. H6 not quite right. Unfortunately, we'll take and take. Okay. Let's go here. Threaten the pawn on F7. Okay. Now we have the, the, the throbbing checkmate. There's also the, the right triangle from the game between Paul Morphy and the Count, the Duke of Brunswick. Oh, we got it. We get the throbbing checkmate. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep going D4. Let's go H4. Let's play H5. Attack. E4. Yeah, we're on a good clip so far. We're on a really, really good clip. Let's go H6, Knight C3, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go knight of three, maybe e5 next. But yeah, there's no um, there's no actual uh, there's no actual American opening. And and I mean, joking aside, I think that's because really most of the openings that were invented are, are pretty old actually. They, they're all from like at least 150, 200 years ago. And with the exception of Paul Morphy, there were no really like top American chess players uh, during that time period. I'm going to go here and, and pick off some material. What about Benny Watts? Yeah, yeah. Do the great chess players GMs compare themselves to athletes such as LeBron? I don't I don't think so. Um, I don't know. That would be a question for Magnus, actually, more than me. Um, but I definitely don't know. No, because I think it's very unhealthy because the problem is when you think about that, I think it's like very ego inflating in a way. It's like, it's like saying, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm as good as, you know, I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to say? I'm saying I'm supposed to be as good as what Scotty Pippen. I'm trying to think of something from the nineties or something where there's a clear number two. Like, I mean, but then the problem with thinking like that is that then you're like, oh yeah, well, I'm like, I'm not good. Why am I not getting paid 30 million a year? Although that's a bad example because of course, Scotty Pippen was underpaid for his entire, for not his entire career, but his entire career with the, with the bulls. So that's actually a bad, that's a bad example. Cause then it doesn't work the way it should. Let's go work F1 here. Um, freaking Jerry Krause. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty good. Let's just tango night, night F4, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I hit the pawn on e6. 
Let's eat the juicer on e6. Let's go bishop g4. Maybe queen c1. Jerry Krause does not own the bulls. Uh, uh, Jerry Reinsdorf does. Or actually, it still is Jerry. You're right. Sorry. They're, they're both Jerry. Sorry. Let's go queen f3. Let's play rook c1. Michelle Kerr plays so much chess is insane. Well, I think Michelle Kerr, one of the things about her is she likes these big challenges. And so I think she's someone who's going to take it super ser seriously, Hafu style, and go all in. So it's going to be interesting to see how she does. Hmm. Dude, what the fudge? Okay. Let's just take the queen here. Uh, let's just go e5, jeez. Uh, take the pawn here. Just take the juicer. Oh, it's a beautiful checkmate, actually. Let's keep going. I'm gonna play c5 maybe here. Ooh, that's an ugly move. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Thank you, Ninja, and your PC for the 500 bits as well. Thank you so much. I don't really want to take. It doesn't doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna go back. Can I be good at chess without studying? <laughs> Um, I depends. Some people are very naturally talented and you can get to a certain level without without studying at all. So it's all it's very relative. Let's go check. Let's go here, hit the pawn. I could have taken, but I'm trying to get a beautiful checkmate here. Oh man, that's just checkmate. Oh no problem. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Let's play Knights 3, Knight F3, something different. I think Eric Hansen said he got defeated Master by just playing Blitz. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're really good at tactics, you can improve very quickly just from playing a lot of online chess. You, you actually can, like, no joke. Um, so so that's, that's not wrong. If you're really good at tactics, I think you can probably get to about 2200 just, just off of that alone. Let's go here, target the pawn. Without GM, without saying no, not possible. But Eric, of course, also started very young. To be fair, he was very young. Oh boy, I think this is checkmate, right? And let's just checkmate. Thank you to Happy Days for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's keep going. Play e4, maybe knight c3. Let's go f4. Uh, let's go knight f3, maybe d4 next one, maybe bishop c4, maybe just bishop b5 as well. We'll play d3. Pretty standard stuff. Let's just take and take and take. Let's just take and go uh, queen f3, I guess. Play bishop g5. Maybe I just castle or castle queen side. Hmm. Go here. I can castle both wings. I'm not sure which wing is better. Tron was as good as XQC now. Yeah, I try to be good. Let's take the free juicer. Take the free juicer. What are Logic's chances of winning? I think pretty decent. I don't know. I mean, he's one of the early favorites for sure. Thank you, Talak V. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Duncan Dogan, for the prime as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go here. I want to support the rook so that I can push this pawn and now move the knight, and the pawn holds the rook here. Thank you, 910Z, for the, uh, uh, for the four months. Thank you, Scion Mike, for the prime. Uh, afraid to actually play... Um, just play. Just play. You got to get over that fear, man. It's like anything in life. You got to get over that fear. 
We gotta get over that fear. I mean, it's like, it's how do you get over your fear of like animals or how do you get, get over your fear of water or whatever it is? I mean, you just gotta go jump in that pool, man. Let's go here in D6. Let's go here, I can push the juicers. I mean, these four juicers, I have four connected juicers. It's almost a stalemate, almost, but not quite. Okay, let's, uh, is there a checkmate in two here? No, there's no mate in two, so let's just do it this way. Okay, let's play 96. Pawn chain is sexy? Yeah, let's play the, uh, let's play a Benko Gambit. Named after pal Benko, the Hungarian American Grandmaster. Thank you, Calric, for the three bucks again. Thank you to Luke Mistake for the five months. By the way, this opening is one of the one of the most original openings I think to have come out uh, of like the 1960s, 1970s period. Very, very original opening. Big fan of it. Uh, let's go here in Bishop G7, I guess, and takes. Okay, let's go knight d7, and queen e4 is not a great move here. I thought Benko is just a variant of the Volga. Um, is it? I thought the whole b5, a6 was... I, I don't know if they call it the Volga or they call it the Benko gam. I mean, that might be an English thing versus other languages. Um, the Benko is, is very sound, fundamentally. Yeah, it's very sound. I love Benko boxes. You mean Bento boxes? Bento boxes in Japan are amazing. Shame that I could never do any IRL in Japan. I can just take and go Bishop G7 here. Speaking of hungry greetings from Budapest, 0.23 a.m. here though. Yeah, it's pretty late in Europe these days. Or not these days, right now, I should say. <laughs> this is these days. Yeah, it's pretty late these days. I know, these days is pretty late in Hungary. I know, like, these days. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Sorry, you guys. Let's go here. His queen is a little bit uncomfortable, actually. He can go back, then he gets fossilized. He has like no squares to go to. Puzzles, puzzles, free. You can buy a book, you can do them for free online. Puzzles, 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 and more puzzles. Maybe you are hungry. No, I'm not super hungry. I'm gonna go 95 here. Maybe G4, 93 ideas. Uh, I think I trapped the queen, right? He goes here and I go back and his queen gets sauced. It's just trapped. Trapped on the wing. Just trapped. Look at this queen. Very sad queen. No squares. Five hour stream. This is going to be an eight hour stream at least. Uh, because we're going to be playing in Arena Kings in about an hour and a half from now. He does this. I'll take. Okay, open up both diagonals. Now we have the Malcolm X shield or whatever. Let's go here and take. Actually, I'm just going to trade bishops. Maybe e4. <laughs> Let's take it, take. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Let's take. Um... Let's go here and rook g8. Do I think Malcolm X was a superhero? No. <laughs> For G8. Let's go F4, F3. Let's just attack. Um, let's go here and Queen F4. Hit the bishop, hit the rook. Let's see, we need to get to 118. We are at, we are at um, 105, so 13 more. Let's go here.
Go C4, Knight C3, maybe. Oh, why 118? Because uh, we had to get the account set up ahead of time, so the record was a little bit different when we started it. So I just uh, the number's not zero. Why 118? Because in order to get the rating calibrated correctly for the speed run, it started off with 18 wins and 32 losses. So you'll see it's now 105 wins and 32 losses. Because of course I haven't lost any games, but I want I need to win 13 more to get to 100. When is Arena Kings in an hour 33 minutes? Sardosh is playing in Pog Champs. Yeah, Sardosh is playing. Go check and hit the king and hit the knight. Go here. Of course you haven't lost. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's go here. Hit the bishop. He takes. I'm going to go rook g1 and takes. Let's go e4. Remove the bishop and go d5. Queen g4, I will just take. Um, I don't see any tricks here, really. I can obviously take the knight if I want to. I think I'm just going to take and take. And now... Oh, he saw it. Okay. Wow, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's be very careful here. Uh, I think I just take anyway. Not so easy to win, but it should be winning. Go here. I'm just going to run the king up the board, basically. Once he runs out of checks here, I should just be able to re re reuse my pieces in a good way. Let's go here. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm Edgar. Thank you to the wrong for the five books. Orion's Ash for the Prime. Temp Portis for the Prime. John Alcats for the Prime. And Karma Television, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Decrab, for the four months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's keep going. Are you playing King of the Hill or just Blitz Arena? We're uh, I'm just doing an eye tracker speed run. Whoa, thank you to Mr. Poop Towel for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mr. Poop Towel. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's castle. Let's go here. Let's just develop the knights. Maybe knight d5 at some moment. Maybe bishop g5. It's all pretty good. Let's just go here. <laughs> let's just take the pawn. Take the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Putel is a pretty formal name tag. <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go back. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go knight f4. Um, thank you to Quill Glod for the three and I. It's Barista for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take. <laughs> That's his surname. Yeah, exactly. What do I think of what happens with GME? I mean, it's going to crash sooner or later. Whether it goes down like 50% or 30%, I mean, it's definitely overvalued. But we'll see We'll see when the madness stops. I mean, I, I feel like there's still probably some juice to be squeezed in terms of shorts. So I think it has a chance to still go up a little bit more. They need to swim 19 for the 19 months. Thank you so much, swim 19. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go F4. I mean, it's all very winning, but let's just take. Let's take. He can't recapture because the king's in trouble. Do I know GM Hushenbass from Germany? You mean Nicholas? I do know him, yeah. Uh, let's go here. Very talented player. I think this is like 23-24. Uh, plays a lot of exciting openings. A lot of interesting chess. Thank you, Derpy, for the uh, eight months. Thank you, Billy Mars, for 300 bits. Let's take the night. To the moon. To the moon. No, I'm sorry. I mean, that's not where it's going. go check amc however is a different story amc i'm much more optimistic about because they just got bailed out so amc could go to the moon potentially 
They could go up. I, I, I could see them going up 100% easily. Palantir, no. And I don't know what the whole big ruckus about Palantir is anyway. Because Palantir had a day, I feel like a week ago, I saw it. It was up like 12% or something. To uh, It was up like 12 or 13% to like 28. And then I guess it came off because the other day when it was up like 25%, it was only to 28. I was like, oh, well, what's the big deal? Oh, I could definitely play a Jerome Gambit. Yeah, let's play D6. Let's go here. This is the B feeder, of course, the pterodactyl B feeder variation. Um, let's play here. Bad Bishop on B2, importantly. Who's turning 29 in February? Sorry. Oh, Hushinbeth? Ah, okay. Uh, let's just castle. Uh, that's a free juicer. I will take it. Maybe 94. Sold some shares at 148. Brilliant sell. Very, very nice. It's not going to get back there. No way. It's, it's not going to go back to that, that ridiculous price again. So good job selling. Let's just take. Just eat the juicer. Uh, let's just trade and come back. Let's go a6 and b5. Just open up this uh, queen side here with b5 and takes. Blackberry is another example, by the way. Like Blackberry is a stock that I, I had a position in, not a uh, I had a options position in it like a couple years back. And it, it, it went up like huge on earnings, like 20%. It went to like $9 or something. And then I saw all the rage around it recently. And it's like, oh, but BlackBerry is only like at 10 bucks. Like, what's the big deal? Like, it, there's just no progress. So I'm, I'm not, I, I don't really believe in that either. Let's take. Uh, let's go B2, Rook C1 next move. Thoughts on Tesoro? I saw it pop up on some ticker thing. I, I was reading some article last night. I saw it, but I don't know anything other than that. All right, I'm gonna take a short break, you guys. Let me let me pause the clock. Um, 